Hello out there everyone. I just wanted to give you a quick little video demonstration of our bath bombs. <clears throat> um, I'm going to show you one of these minions today. These are super cute. We wanted to make a bath bomb that would be appropriate for boys. So it's got a little minion figurine in it like one of these two. Get in focus there for you. And um, we also have them available with the Shopkins inside. You can see here we've got one that's very glittery. Um, this one is more like a speckled egg, a little bit of glitter on it, kind of green with a little bit of a gold um, tint and some yellows and pinks and purples in there. And um, this is uh, another one with a Shopkin in it. This one just has a very tiny little touch of glitter on the top just to give it a little sparkle. And we also have it available in the larger um, jumbo Easter egg size. Uh, these are the chicken egg size, which are perfect for kids because, you know, they don't use as much bath waters as mommies do. Um, and then we have the larger one, maybe a great for the bigger kids. Um, these ones do not have a toy inside, but what they do have is three little tiny mini bath bombs inside. And what that'll do is it'll give the bath just a little extra fizz and some extra colors. So what I wanted to show you today is the little minion guy. We have one that my daughter and I were kind of practicing on. It was the first time we painted on an egg before. What we used for paint was just some mica powder and some rubbing alcohol combined together to make kind of like a paste that we used to um, brush on with an eyeshadow applicator we used. And we used um, these little sugar eyeballs and attached them with just a little dab of um, cookie frosting or gel frosting or whatever. So anyway, this is our practice one. It looks pretty bad, but this is the one I want to show you how it'll look in the water. Now, because this does have these big blobs, we're just kind of checking the consistency and how well they wrote and stuff. Um, this will come off in the water and it'll come off kind of as a chunk. Um, you can just scoop it right out if you want, but it, it's not going to hurt anything because it is just mica powder and some rubbing alcohol. Um, any little bits and pieces that you can't scoop out there fine that you can just go right down the drain. So um, I started out with clear water, but I've already put one in so you can see the water has turned into this pretty like greenish blue. It looks a little more yellow on my video, but in the bathtub itself, let me see if I move this light a little bit. The bath itself is actually this really pretty like spa green color. So anywho, let's get to it. So here goes our not so cute little minion, <laughs> but the green, I mean the yellow and the blue really do um, turn the color of really pretty green color. So you can see he's kind of rolling around there and fizzing away. You're getting some cute foam and um, uh, some fizzing there. So you can see he's just kind of hanging out. He's floating around. Um, we do get some foam here, which is pretty and the kids like that, but um, I don't use SLSA which is a detergent and so a lot of bath bombs will have SLA, SLSA in it and what it is is it's really a detergent that is put into bubble baths and my daughter has very sensitive skin and can get um, UTI or irritation so we don't use it typically <clears throat> but I do have some and I will be making some bath bombs with it because I know there are people that just love bath bombs or love the bubbles love the foam and want more 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 of it um, I use water soluble colors so um, I don't use strong dyes or you know a lot of strong scents oh this is the big one um, I was worried about him even fitting in one of these eggs but he did so here's our little toy that popped out um, what I was saying about our colors because they're water soluble they're not gonna stick to the sides of your tub they're not gonna stain your skin they're not gonna stain your bath so um, and they just give a nice little light tint to the water I know some people like the bath bombs that just explode with you know every color imaginable but I personally don't like taking a bath in that much color so I just kind of like the little tint that these water solubles give um, and the kids think it's cool too the water you know sometimes you don't know what color the water is going to end up is it going to be pink is it going to be purple is it going to be a little green so it's fun so here's the little minion guy in here he's got his cute little um, overalls on and this is the hat from when the the minion movie when they went to Europe um, what do you call those palace guards <clears throat> 
and then you can see the other ones that we have in here these are the little caveman guy ones and here's your typical little one with the uh overalls so adorable um, so again we've got these ones with shop guns in them um, this one with the mini bombs inside and we are also willing to make oh look how pretty that green is um, we are willing to make um, any request that you might have if you want SLSA in it so you can get that bubbles and foam perfect we can do that we can make one you pick the scent you pick the color you pick the toy you pick the size 